I just wanted to share a couple of real cool things that, that I use. Uh, I spend a fair bit of time not connected to the web, which I know in this day and age seems crazy, but it happens when I'm on trains, things like that, when I'm doing some traveling. Uh, what stinks about that is, is I don't have access to this rich data that the criticism actually provides. I do some, some side projects uh, on the Android platform for some of my hobbies, and so I get this benefit of being able to use this, this really cool data as I'm developing my Android application. Um, and what's really neat is being able to have all this diagnostic information uh, with regard to how, how the application is, is working, um, what versions, all that kind of good stuff. Now this is obviously just a, a very basic demo app that I'm building out, and so there's not a whole lot of information being spread. Uh, but what I really use is I use this breadcrumbs feature. Basically, I just put some hooks into my code uh, using these breadcrumbs, and then I can actually see where it it barfs up when I'm do doing my my user testing. So it's really really cool to have this information. This way, I can I can review it. Um, it basically, anytime I'm online. Like I said, though, the problem is, is when I'm not online, uh, when I'm flying on a plane or something like that, it makes it really hard to utilize this. So what I do is, is I actually use the REST API. I export this uh, utilizing that REST API, and it's really simple because they actually display right up here on the top here. This is the crash grouping ID. So all I have to do is grab that and then punch that into a curl command uh, on my terminal and download this whole crash report and gives me all this data uh, in a format that I can I can consume offline. So let me just show you real quick here, jumping over to the terminal. I've already kind of pre-filled this out, as you can see here. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a hairy command, uh, but this is that app ID that I was talking about there, or, or the crash crash group ID rather. Um, this is the URL string, obviously, and then this guy right here. That's actually my API token. So that's kind of my developer ID inside Criticism. Uh, this stuff's all obviously protected, so you can't just grab it. Nobody can just grab your, your data. Um, so you have to be able to pass that token. When you pass that token, what it does is it spits out all this cool uh, detailed information that I was talking about. So you'll see um, all the messages, all those kind of breakpoints, essentially, is what I, what I like to refer to them as. Um, so I can see those breakpoints in as it's executing and, and, and churning through the system. So it's really neat to be able to have this information. Now, you know, right now, this is just in the terminal window. But as you know, with curl, all I have to do is just give it an output command. Um, so just put output. And once I pop that bad boy in there, guess what? Now I've got that file downloaded. I can just do a real quick... Now let me get this caps off. Do a quick, a quick LS, and it's it's down here, right there for me. I can open that up and review it offline. Really neat, really nice, nice feature. Um, so take a look at it sometime. Thanks.